I like to talk about observers and uh, be very clear about what I'm talking about. They can be either tiny or huge. So tiny would be like an electron, which is a point particle. Can't get much tinier than that. We've got the positive number past and the negative number future. Or you could go like really big, galaxies, because they observe their local galactic clusters and all that kind of stuff, and you can do math on that. Now, both of these have a here now. Uh, now being the first number, here being the, the other three. And we know the math. Zero plus zero equals zero. Zero times zero is zero. And that means that every observer is stuck at here now. And I call this my inverse Mach principle. I think observers are the key. All right, so complex numbers used all the time in quantum mechanics. It's got a real imaginary, but what does it physically mean? Well, with space-time numbers, which is a slight generalization, aka quaternions, uh, I know what that means. Time, there's one of them, and it's a real number. And there are three space terms. Now, it's well known that Einstein had all kinds of issues with quantum mechanics, so we're going to make him the observer and give him a little magnifying glass here. Uh, he's in a light cone, which is actually very comfortable in because light cones have to do with causality. We've got the past there as a positive number. We've got here now. Um, and we've got the future, uh, which is a negative number, at least according to me. <laughs> We're going to give him a nice big uh, plane to do his experiments. And over here he digs a trench, does the whole trench thing. And we'll just say that's at zero, one, zero, zero. Zero, that first one means it's now at location one. And uh, now we put another trench in at a different location, zero, zero, one, zero. We got an orange tabby cat. We got a red cat. Uh, but these are going to be part of our experiment. So we have to put them in the trenches. So the red cat goes in that one. And the orange one goes over here. Cool. Oh, yeah. I gotta put in <laughs> the, 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 the explosives, all right? Uh, I'm sorry, it's the way it goes. Uh, so we're gonna count down, um, or count up. Let's see, and uh, one, two, three, oh, 60. I counted really quickly. Now this is Einstein. We send photons as quickly as we can. Green ones for living, red ones for dead. Oh, that was green, good. And both lived. That is cool. So if we square this uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, we get minus 1. Einstein gets it in the future one minute, uh, one unit later. Okay, so we're going to repeat the experiment. So we have to uh, redo the things. And I thought, I don't know, let's really change this up a little bit. Let's just move this uh, second trench out a bit further. So Einstein's going to get this information later because it's located in a different place, which you can kind of do with the uh, space-time numbers in a way that makes sense. Oh, look, I re just repeated it. Green lived. Oh, oh red died. Um, I'm sorry to report that, but it's an experiment. So there's the RIP. And so there's this notation they uh, use in professional circles. It's called bracket notation. And we just know that you do this enough times, it comes out to a half. Um, so after Einstein knew one of them was red, lived, um, it, it would be that and the bracket notation. And then once we knew both pieces of information, well, we know both pieces of information, so it's not a big deal. Um, and what I like to say is that's two state dimensions uh, versus four space-time dimensions. That's Schrodinger's gut. So we're going to think about what Einstein could say in detail about wave functions for the Schrodinger cat experiment. So as usual, we draw him here and he wants details. So of course, he's got to have a magnifying glass, uh, but he's concerned with causality. And anytime you're concerned with causality, you got to draw a light cone. So we're doing that here.
and we're going to give him a nice space uh, to do experiments on these cats. So of course he's at the zero 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 because he's at the origin and this is the cat. It's two units away in the X direction with the explosives and we've got a second cat, an orange cat. Oh there it is at one and we've got our dynamite and we're putting in a third cat in the basement at minus one half a brown cat actually good so now what are the rules for writing wave functions so the dimensions of space-time is four the dimensions of states is two either live or dead it's orthogonal by the way one wave function per cat. We write events for signals and we normalize them so that the wave function has a value of a half. Now at zero, 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 he knows all three wave functions. But at a half step, he knows the brown cat's final state. And at uh, one unit in the future, he actually knows what happened to the orange cat live or dead and of course at minus two he knows all three results good but let's see actual wave functions so we write it as two states that's live and not dead and not live and dead and for the orange cat different normalization factor because the signals at a different place again different normalization for the brown cat but it could be any of those things space-time numbers uh, aka quaternions we've got two states three wave functions but the total wave function is all three of them now these states are orthogonal by that I mean you take dead times live the inner product you end up with zero okay so at time minus a half, oh, what's this minus business? Okay, so the past time is a positive real number, whereas the future is a negative real number because the past is the past, cannot change. You multiply one times anything and you end up with the same thing, but the future can change. All right, so what do we do here? Well, oh, I'm gonna use coins to be honest about here. Um, there, the, the, the results are defined. <laughs> okay, so we go ahead and put in these new numbers, new normalization factors for the red cat, the orange cat, but we know the results. Oh, for the brown cat. Brown cat's dead. I'm sorry. It sent a red signal. Now, at minus one, uh, new numbers, new normalization factors. Oh. And the orange cat is dead. So sad. Okay. And now we continue on with the experiment at minus three halves. New numbers in there. New normalization factor. Oh, and that too, what happens? It's alive. Such good news. 